I think we can all agree that everybody from time to time needs electrical power in the place when there is no electrical outlet available. The most common use would be to charge the smartphone, the laptop or in case of our RC and FPV hobby to charge LiPo batteries. If you want to fly all day, you either have to have a lot of batteries or the way to charge them on the flying field. If you have a car, you can of course tap yourself to the car's battery, but be careful with pulling too much because being not able to start a car after the whole day of the fun <sighs> It's not really the best experience ever. This is where power stations become useful. And especially power stations with additional solar panels. What I have with here me today is the All Powers S300 power station with additional 100 watts solar panels. And everything comes in the smallish package so you can carry it with you. Of course, if you have enough of the body strength to do so. Let's go. That's the All Power S300 power station. Roughly 20 by 17 by 11 centimeter block with the carrying handle on the top. On the front side, you will get two AC outlets protected with those little covers. Three buttons on the front that allow you to turn on and off functions of the power station like Bluetooth for the wireless access, the DC outputs and the AC outputs. And of course the LCD screen that shows you the battery level for how long the battery with the current load should last and also the input and output wattage. So you know how fast you are discharging and how fast you are charging with either dedicated charger or solar panels. And of course the charger is the absolute standard power brick. Plug it to your mains, plug it into the power station and charging begins. On this side you get inputs for charging and the 12 volt output with the standard car lighter plug. And on the other side you get four USB outputs which one of them is USB-C and three are USB-A and two 12 volt barrel plugs. If you have something custom that accepts 12 volts just make yourself a cable from the standard DC plug to whatever you are using like for example XT60 for your charger and happy charging. And on the top you of course get the pad for the wireless charging only with the QI standard by the way. And oh, a gadget. It has the built-in flashlight. There is not that much I can tell you about the solar panels besides the fact that they are foldable and when you unfold them you get the electronics for the charging, the pouch for the cable that you can connect the panels to your power station and that's basically all. Some loops here and there and the carrying handle on top. This video was created thanks to my Patreons and YouTube channel members. You are the main reason this channel keeps going. If you want to help me to make more of the videos like this, then consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. Thank you and and by the way, you will get some special benefits out of that deal. And now it's time for the review part. Question number one, does it work? Yes, it does. It does basically everything it offers. Both the S300 power station and the solar panels are easy to use, are working all the time. They offer everything. They have USB-A, USB-C, DC power. You can charge them from the standard car our battery plug and everything just works. 300 watts of battery operated power just awaits your creativity. Power whatever you want. The universal input set and a lot of outputs make this power station just a usable device. And if the day is sunny, of course you can prolong the battery life with the solar panels. Or just charge the 78,000 milliamp hour internal battery to be used later. However, there are a few things that you should be aware of. First of all, and this is really a minor thing, the build 
built-in wireless charger is QI standard only. That means that, for example, I was not able to wirelessly charge my phone because it just doesn't support the QI standard, although it supports a different one. But you know, this is just a minor thing. You just plug in the USB cable and everything works just fine. Then the 78,000 milliamp hour battery seems like a big one. And yeah, it is a big, relatively big battery. But if you will start pulling power from the power station, you have to be prepared to a fact that you can basically discharge it in half an hour even. Just enable both AC and the DC output, start pulling power from this thing, connect a lot of receivers, and yeah, it will discharge after all. And here, in theory, come solar panels. The manual says that the panels I got are 100 watts, and maybe they are. However, when I wanted to charge the power station with those panels, I got max to around 40 watts only. Maybe I live too far from the equator, or I really should have the panels tilted and pointed directly at the sun. Maybe it's me, maybe it was the weather, maybe it was the sun, or maybe this is just how it works. Who knows? Still, the charging process were just happening and the power station was slowly building up charge thanks to to the solar panels. So just charging your phone, laptop, LiPo batteries, whatever, wherever you are, is absolutely not a problem. But the thing is that the 300 watts output power on the AC with 500 watts surge is not really that much. Yes, you can charge other devices from this power station, no problem. You can even connect a light, a fan, really everything up to 300 watts. But if you were thinking, for example, about using the electric kettle, well, then most probably you will fail. Yes, you can buy those teeny tiny 150 watts electric kettles, but uh, I really would like this thing to be at least 600 continuous output power. Yes, I know it would discharge twice as fast, but still, I would have slightly more options. And finally, it's not that portable after all, because with almost 4 kilograms on the power station itself, you have to be prepared to carry this thing around. If you want to travel with this thing, you have to be prepared for the weight. So walking most probably not with the bicycle or a bike. Okay, I can understand it. I can most probably put extra 4 kilograms on my bicycle and it will be fine. You know, compromises. You can make this thing lighter, but then the battery would also have to be smaller and it would discharge even faster. Everything in the real world is just a compromise. The overall verdict is that, yes, it's a good product, it's a useful thing, as long as you are prepared to face the limitations. In my case, the biggest limitation was the 300 watt output power limit on the AC inverter. I really would like to be able to connect an electric kettle to this thing. Yes, I know, I'm strange. But if you think of the S300 power station as the huge power bank, huge power bank, then everything should be fine. Being able to charge all of your batteries on the flying field while flying and maybe even charge your phone or a laptop is really a useful thing. And what do you think about a device like this? Useful? Useless? Somewhere in between? Please drop your thoughts into the comments. Let's have a nice discussion. And of course, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I know that some of you didn't. Not cool. Not cool at all. <laughs> Here's the next video. Here's the next video you should watch. This was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, happy flying.